All right, so I'm gonna talk about something that has been bugging me like hell for the past few months and I think I'm finally starting to find a solvable pattern in all this stuff. Bit of a background first. Who the f*** is this guy and why did he switch to talking in third person thinking that he can avoid coming off as a condescending douchebag? Hi, I'm Tudor, an ambitious but lazy 18 year old that wants to become successful yet forgets success takes action. I'm from Eastern Europe, Romania to be specific, the land of Dracula, and I live in the small city of Romnik Vulcea, where how the media and the rest of the world likes to portray it, Hackerville. Okay, what else? I've got my good share of passions and interests that come on a monthly basis and disappear as fast as they appear. From woodworking, doodling, to RC cars, to f***ing modular synths, I've tried many and will keep trying many things. As most other kids, I asked what I wanted to do with my life, and I've been fortunate enough to find an answer really early on. As my interests change, kind of overnight, and I change, I discovered that there are a few things that I never give up on and that I always steer towards to. So I chose. I chose to dive headfirst into the creative world and pursue my passion for filmmaking. This surfaced a big problem. For the past few years, day and night, I've been stressing myself to work on these amazing ideas and transform them into films, but with no success. I started many projects that had me excited for some time, to then lose interest and render them to the status of unfinished and unpublished. I have become what you may call a chronic procrastinator. A person that won't get started on a project until the last moment when the adrenaline rush starts creeping in. The problem with personal projects? There is no deadline. Nothing is there to give you the rush that pushes you to finish. This meant that I have to find the solution to my problem. So I tried finding the cause of my procrastination. I can't stick to one thing. Is this ADHD? Ah, uh, maybe. Is this fear of commitment? This can't be it. I've made commitments before and stuck with them. Going to the gym? I never skip a day unless I have to. Eat healthy? Pass me the f***ing arugula. No. It must be something else. These past months, I've committed to an ambitious art project that involved me, a computer nerd, to live without anything else other than my phone. And then I f***ing did it. A complete, successful art project that I've worked on for an entire month and that makes me proud of myself every time I walk in the room. I agree that I might have played a little bit too much Call of Duty Mobile during that time though. Good, so what is it then? As I've been painting this mural for the past month of 2019, I've listened to a lot of music, podcasts and audiobooks. No, this is not a sales pitch. I decided to give the now habit by Nell Fiore a go and try to understand the state of procrastination a little more. And as I go through hours of great information, it hits me like a thunderstorm. I have found my answer. It's fear of vulnerability. The cursor has been blinking this entire time because I've been too afraid to show myself to the world. I don't like calling this fear of failure because I feel this goes even deeper. It's not like you failed on a test and it only affects your final grade and then nobody really gives a shit about that other than you and maybe your parents. This is allowing yourself to be judged from every single fiber of your existence. Here's what I mean. Art is a really personal endeavor. It's allowing yourself to spit out every single thought you hid from the rest of the world in its purest form. Getting judged on who you truly are? Now that's f***ing scary, man. But closing the door and hiding from all this makes no room for change. And stagnation scares the living crap out of me. I'm not gonna sit here and allow myself to get locked inside the room with no escape, away from some crap inside my head, watching dreams pass by, no. I'm gonna fucking join the wave of new thinkers that seek to become comfortable while uncomfortable. I'll join the people that choose. The people that choose to not obey their survival instincts that tell them to stay warm and stay safe. I'm gonna make a bold claim. 
Safety is boring. I don't think anybody wants to live a miserably boring life. This is how I define misery. 9 to 5, get a wife, come home, open the TV and drink till you die. But the safe route is also a good route, right? Maybe. But the thing with safety is that it's a slow linear progression. Low risk, low reward. It may be a good choice, but the best things in life are always backwards. Moving backwards makes you vulnerable. It's risky, you might trip, but fuck is it rewarding. So I choose to seek the rewards and drown the fear. This is why I've been vulnerable for the past few minutes in front of complete internet strangers. To honor my choice. To launch myself into the unknown. This is your turn. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. And if you didn't, just leave a dislike. And maybe a comment with some constructive criticism. It really helps me make better videos and see my blind spots. Thank you.